Hello everyone, Isabel here with you today. It's Holy Week and this is Holy Wednesday. So I'd like to share with you just a short timeline of the week leading up to the crucifixion of Jesus on the cross. Starting with Palm Sunday, when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, which the disciples had been sent to find for him. The crowds waved palm branches, hence the name Palm Sunday. That night, Jesus and the disciples stayed in Bethany, a town about two miles from Jerusalem. The following morning, Jesus returned with his disciples to Jerusalem. When he arrived at the temple, he found the courts full of corrupt money changers, so he began overturning their tables and cleaning the temple because he wanted the temple to be a place of prayer. That night, he returned again to Bethany. The next morning, Tuesday, Jesus and the disciples returned to Jerusalem. Later that afternoon, Jesus left the city and went with his disciples to the Mount of Olives, where he gave the Olivet Discourse, an elaborate prophecy about the destruction of Jerusalem and the end of the age. Scripture had it that this Tuesday was also the day Judas Iscariot negotiated with Sanhedrin, the rabbinical court of ancient Israel, to betray Jesus. Once again, Jesus and the disciples returned to Bethany to stay the night. Which brings me to today, Holy Wednesday. The Bible doesn't say what the Lord did on the Wednesday of Passion Week, but sc scholars speculate that after two exhausting days in Jerusalem, Jesus and the disciples probably spent this day resting in Bethany in anticipation of the Passover. Holy Week takes a sombre turn on Thursday. From Bethany, Jesus sent Peter and John ahead to the upper room in Jerusalem to prepare for the Passover. We know it as the Last Supper. That evening, after sunset, Jesus washed the disciples' feet as they prepared to share in the Passover. By performing this act of service, he demonstrated, by example, how believers should love one another. Then he shared the feast of Passover together. Later that evening, in Gethsemane, Jesus was betrayed by Judas and arrested by the Sanhedrin. Then, in the early morning hours, Peter denied knowing his master three times before the cock crowed. Good Friday is the most difficult day of Passion Week. Jesus endured false accusations, condemnation, mockery and beatings. After many unlawful trials, he was sentenced to death by crucifixion, one of the most horrible methods of capital punishment known at the time. Jesus' body lay in its tomb, where it was gathered, guarded by Roman soldiers throughout Saturday, which was the Sabbath. When the Sabbath ended, Christ's body was ceremoniously treated for burial with spices. While his physical body lay in the tomb, Jesus Christ paid the penalty for sin by offering the perfect, spotless sacrifice. He conquered death, both spiritually and physically, securing our eternal salvation. Resurrection Sunday, on Easter Sunday as it has become to be known, was when three women went to the tomb to discover the stone rolled away and Jesus' body was no longer there. He had risen from the dead. So that's why we enjoy rolling our eggs and enjoying picnics on Easter Sunday, when the weather allows. Our Monday Thursday service on the 6th of April is at 7pm in Eastern Old Church. Good Friday service on the 7th of April is also at 7pm in Inverarity Church. Easter breakfast on the 9th of April 
is at a quarter to nine in the morning at Inverarity Church. Blessing to you all this Holy Week, and we hope to see you at one or more of the Easter Week services.